Today we'll be looking at some more fancy stuff we can do with OL parity. So we'll be covering the four cases where the CL case is uh, 2 gen pi. So we have a uh, pi and matching colors, opposite colors, which is soft like this. And one of these four edges are, one of these four edges is flipped. So the first case we'll be looking at is this one where the flipped edge forms a bar here. And following from the previous video, if we do the OL parity out here, we'll be left with a COL case where these two corners are permitted, these two need to swap. And it looks like this, where we have matching colors here and opposite colors here. Oh. This COL case is kind of long, so what we can do is to just solve this OL parity case directly using this out. The second case we're going to look at is this one where the flip ditch is between the two corners with matching colors and so on. So like before, if we just do the OL parity out from here, we'll end up with this UL case with uh, opposite corners having the same color on top. And this UL case is not very nice either, which is... Oh, I messed that up. Alright, oops. Yeah, anyway, it's not a nice out. So, we can also solve this directly. So, the out, the two outs I've shown so far only involve RY, R, and U moves. And the first out has one regret. The second out has no regrips at all. So the last two cases are where the flip ditch is not in either of those two positions. So in these cases, if we do the parity out, we'll actually end up with a Niklas, which is seven moves long. So we'll just do that instead of doing anything fancy.